It was an emotional day in court. Here you see Daniel Riley sitting at the table with his attorney waiting for the hearing to begin. Um, Just feet behind him are Janae Edmondson's parents. He did not seem to look up or have any reaction to what was going on in court today, um, definitely trying to hide his face under his hair. Jenna Edmondson's parents walked right past him as they approached the bench to discuss with the judge what an impact this has had on their family, and they begged her to keep him in jail without bond. A couple of times, Janae's mother glanced back at him um, and also looked at him as she walked up and she walked back. The parents told the judge that their daughter has had five surgeries in the past seven days. There are more scheduled. The father said that there is a steel rod holding her pelvis together at this point, and she still has a lot of other medical issues related to internal injuries, including to her kidneys, from this devastating accident. The parents also talked about how they had to tell their daughter she no longer had her legs. And her mother recalled um, her daughter's initial reaction to that news. And her daughter said to her mother, will you still love me? And her mother said, absolutely, I will. It's no different than if I were to cut all my hair off. Would you still love me?
this you have to remember that this girl was um, a basketball player, volleyball player, had a scholarship to UT Southern. That college is going to honor that scholarship, but certainly their daughter's identity as a star athlete has been changed forever. Her father said she took it in stride. Her father also said that she remembers everything from the accident. She remembers getting hit. She remembers telling her dad to step back, step back. And he said that he is constantly awakened by his memories of the crash. Um, and it is still very haunting to him. As they walked past Daniel Riley, Janae's parents, once again, her father did not look at him at all. Her mother certainly looked to be staring him down. He did not look up at them at all throughout this entire hearing. Daniel Riley's next court case in this situation is April 3rd. 
For his robbery case, he's expected to appear before a judge in March.